Hello, thank you. Um, my name is Jörg Gusinger from Benish Architekten in Stuttgart, and uh, we have not so much time, so I'm going to flew through all the slides, <laughs> if possible. That is how we start our history. Günther Benisch, in, after the post-war, uh, founded the office, and, and maybe you know his design of the Olympic facilities in Munich or uh, of the German Bundestag and, uh, and so on. And later on, Stefan, his son, overtook or made a new office. And today we have a Stuttgart-based office and two branch offices in, in Munich and in Boston. Uh, on the left side there, th this is Stefan Bainisch, and these are the three partners of each office, Robert Hörsler from Munich, Stefan Ruppert uh, from Stuttgart, and Robert from Boston. So, well, we live in very green surroundings <laughs> at all, and um, this is where we work, what we work. We are, uh, we are architects, we are not urban planners. We, are, we have some sort of three or four landscape architects, most putting out the gardens of our uh, architects or of our buildings, but we are not so doing so much um, urban planning. <coughs> Instead, we have two or three things we did before, and then these are the examples I brought with us. So we are working worldwide. We have a bright portfolio from housing to offices to we even have uh, one cancer center. Uh, Michael always showed today. And this is a Stuttgart office, it's, it's really nice there. And <coughs> we heard a lot about what influences <laughs> us, what influences our architecture, what we are talking about. We heard something about air, we heard something about urban space, urban place. And for us, it's important, you see these key words, and they are nearly the same to your six dimensions. You mentioned before the spider web, yeah? It's, it's really, really interesting. It's, it's the same way. Um, means for holistic understanding, we have to look at it all. That means for us, every building is unique. And um, our aim is, or the goal of all what we are doing is um, that the user of the building at the end, not the client, not we as architects, not any, any architectural review or whatever, the user of the building is the main thing and he and his surroundings must be proper for him. That is our design approach. So we were a little bit, let's say, astonished uh, that you invited us. And um, so we thought about, OK, what I'm going to, to tell them. So first the thing, the urban, when you're thinking about uh, uh, urban or cities, Maybe you know uh, the, the whole thing we know about setting. Just look at the figures of the density. It's, it's very interesting. That's Siena, that's Stuttgart where we are living. It's, it's really okay. That's Barcelona, yeah. <laughs> but that's Savannah, really green city, no one living there. And so also we're talking about old transport lanes. Maybe you know this High Line uh, project in, from New York where they re um <coughs> an old traffic line and made some informal and formal spaces, public spaces in the city. Uh, Chicago, Times Square again, Melbourne. But there are other for examples, for example, split. You don't do anything and the people live on the streets and everything is vital, everything is brilliant. And you just ask them why they do it and why it's going to work there and why it doesn't work here or wherever. So we have to talk about papram, we have to talk about density, about comfort. And this is also a theme, a theme economy of space. Means um, Savannah, for us, it's a green city, but is it a healthy city? Is it the ideal we want to live there? I don't think so. So maybe we have to look at the, um, the public spaces, a revitalization of the public spaces, like for example, Benidorm, we did something uh, nearly the same, or just tried to figure out it in Kronprinzstraße, but um, it wasn't so fancy for the Stuttgart government. The people, they, just, they didn't like it at all. Um, so it ended up with this. It's okay, but it could be really better. Yeah. So here you see some, some examples, traffic lines being built, turn away, and the uh, revitalization of these 
public space or some freeing space is over there. That's the way it works. This one, you know, is sure, Malmö. And this is again Barcelona. With most of the people, and I think it's brilliant to live there. You know, also Barcelona. So I'm going to show you our project in Pittsburgh. So as I told you before, we are architects, we are not urban planners. So if they ask us for a design for organizations, this plot, we have to tell about Pittsburgh. The steel companies, uh, companies are going down. There is much unemployment in the city. Everything is thrown away. Um, so they ask us, or the client ask us to do a brilliant weaving space and, and ask us what we're going to do. So we started with a lot, lot of research. Somehow we, we do it together with Transilla, climate engineering, the wind chill, um, uh, Alex uh, mentioned before, is very important. The wind is very sure the best way, even better than planting 20 trees. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And, um, so we have to do it this time and this, uh, look for the aims of what, what the strategies, what we want to do, how we will develop this, this uh, river park settlement, how we will bring the people in. That's the most important thing, um, that it looks like this. Yeah. So we're talking about the lanes, the prosthetics against the wind and all this stuff, where comes the light in, where comes the sunlight in and so on. We are talking about how is it possible <coughs> that the people are going here to the heart, what is happening, how can we do it? So for example, here we have the, the cultural things, we have there the old union building, the heart of the whole thing. So we showed it's in, it's in reuse of the old uh, union industrial building, and this, this is for a theater, for example, then we have the the public space over there, a cultural space with some restaurants, with some, some bars, some, some cafes and ticket corners and all this stuff. So at all, um, again, the next way, how can we bring the people from there to the riverfront? Yeah, the current situation, we are blocked by this car bypass, it's over there. And uh, so we have to tell them what we decided to cover the bypass. We have a direct access to the water. We heard it before from you and from you also. And uh, so we can strain the barriers. So then we invite the three sisters gallery. And we always work in these sketches uh, with our clients and tell them our ideas and, and work with them together. And such a strategy comes to like this. So we have a river one there in front of the where jogging paths at the lower level maybe there. Then uh, on the upper level, you have a more recent way to go <coughs> there, let's say. Some, some cultural, some stages over there, some, some marinas, some boat pavers over there, cafes, sure, sports facilities, and all this stuff. Means always how can we attract these things so that the people are coming there and, and live on the outside. Some activities, some seasonal stands, and whatever. So maybe it looks like this. This one is, then we talk about the high-rise buildings and, and the hotels, and we also want to make some public spaces over there that, that is not closed in the lobby, that the people can over go up. And, and that is the thing we, we looked at, that is so-called the golden triangle, triangle means um, that is the moment um, <coughs> the, the people with families, with non-families, and, and how the age of this is, and so, is it now? Yeah. Also important is that the people have their own neighborhoods. There are four blocks, and they have really their own courtyards and their own space where they can live, where, can, where they can play, where they can meet. And we have these three-dimensional gardens in the city. Um, not to make sure. Then um, about we are talking about high-quality environment. We are, we are architects about the design. So we have to organize or we have to um, <coughs> strengthen the public neighborhood so, and to create new rooms for urban living rooms. This one is very short. This is a uh, thing we did in, in Las Vegas, Gen City Paradise. It's almost a similar approach, means 
also a lot of research and, and doing some, some steps over it and some, some layers over and under with the, with the green elements, with the public elements, with the transport elements. And so it's completely together for this design um, and its strength. So the, these, these three shadows are preventing from light, preventing from the sun, but also giving a, a sort of covered uh, means that, that you can go there, that you want to go there, and um, this is how the sketches, how we work. So we, we have to talk about cultural concepts. This is one short we did in a museum in, in Stralsund. Uh, about natural rights, also these things, are, we always work with, with climate engineers, most of all with France law and so on. So every project always has his natural daylight things, have these wind things, these clean air things, and, and uh, how we work with this, how we deal with this, how it could be different in a way, and um, how it works. Climate, the, the last pictures I'm gonna show you is an, is an ice skating stadium uh, we did in Insel. Um, it was also a funny thing, no sunlight had to go down on the ice because uh, then uh, you're going to slow, yeah? and you have to have a certain quality of air in the, in the hall that everything is going around, and they, the, the air is circulation in the same way the, the ice skaters are circulating, and um, if the Germans <coughs> are skating, they put the, the air a little bit higher, then we are faster, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, and, um, and that's the end. Stay tuned, work together, and, and um, you have to try and try again um, to element these, these public spaces or to, to revitalize these public spaces. Thank you very much.